हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर सुधांश शर्मा फ्रॉम स्कूल ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स एंड इंफॉर्मेशन साइंसेज इंदिरा गांधी नेशनल ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैड गिवन यू द इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द कोर्स दैट इज वी हैड ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द कंटेंट कवरेज ऑफ द एंटायर कोर्स नाउ दिस सेशन इज अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू ब्लॉक वन इन डिटेल दैट इज वॉट इज एलजेब्रा वन ब्लॉक वन रिलेट्स टू एलजेब्रा वन In algebra one, we are having four units. Uh, unit one is determinants. Unit two is matrices, and unit three is again matrices component. Uh, that is the second part of the matrices. And in unit four, we will be discussing about mathematical induction. Now over here, we will be discussing about uh, firstly what is determinants. So uh, determinants are actually the scalar components. and uh, uh, the unit 1 discusses about the determinants of order 2 and order 3 and uh, we will be discussing about the properties of determinants and application of the determinants so you might be wondering that what is order so far as the construction of a determinant is concerned the determinants are having rows and columns so a determinant of order 2 relates to the structure wherein there are two rows and two columns and determinant of order 3 means a structure wherein there are three rows and three columns you need not to uh, uh, worry that uh, do can we have only determinants of order 3 only or order 2 only you can have determinants of order n also wherein there are n rows and n columns similarly you can have matrices of order n wherein you can have n rows and n columns so uh, so far as the introduction to the determinants is concerned actually these are the numerical values uh, with square matrices so determinants cannot be rectangle that means the number of rows should be equal to the number of columns so uh, these are representing the scalar component of the matrices having same number of rows and same number of columns and they are actually used in uh, algebra calculus differential equations and they are used to solve the system of linear equations further also used to analyze the properties of matrices and in many other areas of mathematics physics computer science so determinants have a range of practical applications in the real life particularly in the field involving the system of equations uh be it geometry and transformations and many more things we will be understanding about the determinants in the numerical format in this course and in the upcoming sessions we will be solving the numericals related to the determinants now in this session we are discussing uh, about the the constituents of the block number 1 that is determinants matrices and mathematical induction so determinants has got wider number of application be it in the field of physics and engineering uh, when we are supposed to perform the stability analysis or uh, uh, we are supposed to assess the safety requirements of the buildings or bridges or whatever then in that case the determinants are widely required apart from this uh, in computer graphics and animation wherever we are doing uh transformation say uh scaling transformation or reflection or uh translation or rotation whatever type of transformation is required it is heavily requiring the understanding of the determinants apart from this in cryptography and encryption uh, the encryption algorithms are requiring the understanding of the determinants so these are some of the applications likewise in navigation and robotics network analysis uh electrical circuit analysis uh and computer vision and digital image processing uh, these are some of the areas wherein the determinants are very much required nonetheless the uh diverse area like economics and financial modeling like data science and machine learning again we are requiring the understanding of the determinants in unit 2 we will be covering about the understanding of the matrices the operations of the matrices uh the matrices whether the matrices are invertible or non invertible how the system of linear equations is to be solved all this is covered in matrices further in unit number 3 the content coverage relates to the elementary row operations 
uh, rank of the matrix, what is rank of a matrix, how it is to be calculated uh, and uh, how elementary row operations are used to calculate the inverse of a matrix. All these things are covered in unit number 3. Now, what are matrices? Now, matrices are actually the rectangular arrays of numbers. Uh, need not to say rectangular, uh, they might be square also. They, they are the arrays of the numbers and symbols or expressions arranged in rows and columns. Actually, these are the powerful tools and uh, represent uh, a wide variety of the data in the field. Now, we are having uh, entire software which is related to matrices, that is, your MATLAB is there, we are having Scilab is there. So, uh, because a matrices is a very powerful tool wherein you can uh, directly work with the equations, you can have number of rows and columns, be it of any order, order 2 or order 3 or order n and you can use uh, uh, equations as a component to the matrices and then use it in diverse fields, be it machine learning, data science, artificial intelligence, uh, digital image processing, computer vision or whatever. So, uh, in wide areas they are uh, used likewise in when we are solving a system of linear equation. In order to solve any problem, we are supposed to uh, quantify a system of equation and thereafter to solve that system of equation, uh, we generally uh, use matrices as a tool. Apart from this, when we are performing the transformation in graphics or uh, when we are representing the data sets, uh, we are using uh, matrices. So, data sets uh, are available in the form of rows and columns and in data science they are heavily uh, required and in order to analyze the data sets the understanding of matrices is very much required. Apart from this in uh, physics and engineering wherein we are going to uh, represent the system of equations and uh, perform physical transformations and understand the state of the systems, the matrices plays a very important role and are quite instrumental. So far as the real life is concerned, in uh, medical imaging, in uh, say uh, epidemiological models, wherein uh, what is should be the rate of spread of the uh, disease or the population, how the interaction in between the uh, infected and the susceptible may happen, the matrices play a very vital role. So, shortly when in 2020-21, uh, 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 Corona came, uh, uh, strike was there, uh, people generated n number of models and on those models, matrices was heavily used as a mathematical component to analyze the uh, situations about the rate of spread and many more things. Now, uh, so far as uh, social network analysis um, may be concerned about the representation of the uh, connections or analysis of the influence and the reach in the social network, uh, the matrices are very important. We are having adjacency matrix, we are having edge matrix wherein the graphs we are uh, try to understand about the interconnectivity in between the nodes and uh, uh, all these representations are handled by the usage of the matrices. In environmental sciences and ecology, the population modeling and uh, ecosystem interactions are also requiring the understanding of the matrices. So, nonetheless, economics and data science are also requiring matrices. So, the final unit of this course is actually mathematical induction, uh, wherein we are going to understand about the principle of mathematical induction. Uh, actually, um, mathematical induction is a proving technique which is used in mathematics to prove the statements about the uh, any say predicate or proposition. The predicate and proposition terms are actually related to the field of the discrete mathematics, but whatever theorem we want to prove or say uh, whether this uh, uh, say some expression is true for uh, an instance then whether the expression will be true for any other instance also. That means if we are going to derive the formula and if we are want to check that whether the formula is valid for each and every instance generated by the uh, that formula, uh, then to verify that the mathematical induction comes into the picture. Now, uh, 
why it works actually it works with the domino effect the domino effect is actually a situation which in which one event causes a series of related events so that means the things are interconnected so the mathematical induction actually exercises the domino effect that means uh, say uh, event 1 how it is connected to event 2 how it is connected to event 3 so we follow the pattern and we derive an expression that how the events are connected for the nth instance then we uh, uh, on the basis of that expression on the basis of that pattern we try to understand how an uh, expression for nth event is true for any other occurrence of that event the n plus 1th or n plus 2th event so then we generalize the expression so uh, mathematical induction is actually for the generalization of the expression and the formulas there are a uh, number of applications of mathematical induction uh, likewise uh, in computer science when we want to verify the correctness of an algorithm or we want to perform the uh, complexity analysis so uh, as i already said uh, what is the average case performance what is the worst case performance what is the best case performance so when we are performing the complexity analysis or we want to check whether the algorithm is working well so wh or what is the limit of that algorithm many a times we say that uh, there is a statement the best case for bubble cause sort is worst case for quick sort. So uh, these things, these type of statements can be verified with the help of mathematical induction. Apart from this, so far as the network design and feasibility is concerned, wherein the communication protocols are there or uh, error correction and, and error checking codes are concerned, then we apply the concepts of the mathematical induction to understand at which instance there is the possibility of happening of the errors. So uh, in error detection and error correction codes, we are using the concept of mathematical induction. Nonetheless, in uh, economics and financial modeling, wherein uh, say compound interest is concerned, say we want to find uh, 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 EMI after 20 years and uh, what should be if I reduce the uh, paying period. And then uh, in that situations, we want to formulate the uh, formulas. So when we are going for the predictive models in economics, so uh, we are using the concepts of the mathematical induction. Apart from this, uh, when we are going for uh, game theory and strategic uh, management, therein for strategic proofs, we are using the domino effect that is again a math concept of the mathematical induction. Nonetheless, in uh, electrical engineering and circuit analysis also for the stability of the circuit that whether the performance of the circuit will be stable enough we need to have the analysis that uh, at which instance at uh, the circuit behavior will be unstable so at that point of time again we are applying the mathematical induction in uh, circuit analysis circuit stability analysis and apart from this uh, in biology and population dynamics, so far as uh, the study of population growth models is concerned, epidemiology, uh, epidemiological modeling is concerned, again we are using the concepts of uh, mathematical induction. So mathematical induction plays very important role. Whatever concepts are being taught in this block, by the end of this block, uh, you will appreciate that uh, you are actually equipped to apply the understanding of the learnings of the techniques delivered in the sessions for the content coverage of the units which are in this block uh, you will be able to apply all those concepts in the subsequent sessions in the real life applications and uh, this will help you a lot so block one relates to algebra one and in Algebra 1, we will be discussing about determinants, matrices and mathematical induction. I hope you will enjoy the journey. And in the subsequent uh, video, we are going to discuss how the mathematical solutions of the problems related to determinants, matrices and mathematical inductions are done. Uh, and you will be able to apply the understanding of the concepts 
from the exam point of view apart and from the real world point of view uh, when you are going to work with say uh, computer science models when you are uh, going to experiment the things in diverse fields you will be able to apply the concepts which are delivered in this upcoming sessions thank you very much <music>